inside of these greenhouses, it's actually really, really warm and humid, but the temperatures are up into 30 degrees Celsius and above. A lot of mushrooms like cool and damp conditions, but reishi is one of those rare species that actually loves the heat. Reishi also starts off as these little antlers. They look like finger-like projections, but those eventually grow out, conk out into this big fruiting body that produces billions upon billions of spores. It is actually kind of mind blowing to see just how many spores are produced. Since reishi is typically grown in these small kind of shade houses, the spores will float around in those shade houses, but eventually they will drop on top of the fruiting body of the reishi mushroom. And you can see just how many there are. Reishi mushroom is also unique in that it has active compounds in both the fruiting body and in the spores. Of course, both of these need to be extracted in order to become bioavailable so you can actually get the benefits from them.